Hey, what's going on? Uh, I want to thank Zuri Old Timer for sending me a link to the Windows Movie Maker. When I bought this computer, it didn't have Movie Maker on there, and all the searching that I have done, I've not been able to find it, or else I would find some links that I wasn't sure if I could trust them or not, so... I decided not to take a chance. I thought maybe if I had an older computer that I didn't care if something like a virus or something affected it, you know, I'd try it, but I couldn't do that. So I just ended up downloading uh, some type of an app and I don't really like it. It doesn't, it doesn't like me. <laughs> not very good with trying to figure out how to use different types of apps and when it comes to software um, I have a hard time with written instruction trying to figure out all the different buttons on there it took me long enough just to figure out Windows Movie Maker back in the day so and that's probably one of the easiest programs out there so when it went bye-bye it's it's on my old computer, but the kids use that, and uh, I didn't have it, but now I do. And uh, again, thank you, Vernon, Missouri Old Timer, for putting me onto that link. I'm going to show you what I did. So if you go to my video, September Update, look for Missouri Old Timer. Where would he go? Right there. He's got a link. Just click on that link. Major Geeks. I've seen this website before, so right off the bat, I, I thought, well, we're going in the right direction here. There may be different uh, ways to do this. I'll just show you what I did. Many times in the past when I'd go onto a site like this, you would see, you know, download now or, and then you might end up downloading some other program from a, from an advertisement and not get what you want. I just scrolled down until I saw this movie maker, kind of a hyperlink right here. I clicked on it. Another window opened up and then I clicked on download at major geeks and then a window comes up and it asks where you want to store it and uh, then you would click save and then go from there and then on mine it's on my desktop I don't need to go any farther because I already have it so then what you're going to get is a Windows Movie Maker. Just double click it and it will unzip it. And then in there you'll see this here. And that's your setup. Just double click that and follow the prompts. And when you're all done, you've got Windows Movie Maker back. That was very simple, painless, and now I'm back to making videos again. I thought, well, I guess I could do some unedited short videos and just upload the video from my phone right to YouTube and just do that, but I am not a very good speaker. I kind of... My brain will freeze up while I'm talking, and I can't get my thoughts out, and I need to edit. So now I can do that again. I hope this has helped someone. We will catch you on the next video. I grabbed my mouse, and I was going to click the stop button on my phone. It don't work that way. See ya.